So guys, welcome back to the channel. Professional YouTuber Renault FT here, back at it again. So today I just wanted to show off the uh, Krupp 38D in World of Tanks Blitz. Uh, one of the newer premiums. Um, they just released it. Uh, I bought it right on the spot because I've been waiting forever for this tank because I've always wanted a Panzer that was shaped like the Hetzer. Uh, in just a couple moments, I'm gonna go check out its stats and everything, and I will probably start a training room and show you how it maneuvers. But uh, let's just let's get into it. Yes. So here we see uh, its gun is a 75 millimeter KWK 40 L slash 48. Um, it, it has a pretty decent aiming time for a tier 5. Uh, I might jump in to compare it against, uh, the KV-1 and BDR, but, uh, let me go over this first. It's damage per minute. A thousand two hundred and thirty-six. Damn. Okay. Reload timing. Not bad, uh, compared to the, uh, Panzer IV. Uh, speaking of which, let's go look at that. Uh, the Panzer IV. What is its gun? This is the same cannon it has, okay? Right here. Its aiming time is... Insane. Okay, so it, it, so it has a better reload than the Panzer IV. Or no, that's tier. F that's the tier four. Hold on, I'm looking at the wrong one. Oh no, yeah, I am looking at the right one. Never mind. Okay, so yeah, it has a better reload. Who knew? All right. Okay. Let Let's look at the turret now. Now the turret. Mm, I don't usually look into the turrets, but its front armor is eighty. Now, if we look at the front of it, you might notice a pattern. It's cheeks. They're flat. They're flatter than Kansas. Okay? 80 millimeters at that angle? That ain't gonna do it. Nah. Mm -mm. Nope. Uh, as Wargaming stated when they released this tank, uh, if you're reloading... Aim away. Aim away. So they can't or angle your cheeks as good as you can. Um. Alright, let's go check out its engine. Its engine is the Tatra Type 204, 300 horsepower. Uh, it can go, f its top speed is 40 kilometers forward. Huh. Well. Compared to the regular Panzer IV, let's look at that again. Uh, let's Maybach. Okay, so it does not have the same engine. It has a Maybach, not a Tatra. Okay, it it is it is eight kilometers slower than the Panzer IV, uh, but it has a higher average speed. So I guess that's I guess that's great. Um All right. Tracks I'm not really worried about. Um has a pretty a pretty decent well, not for a tier 5. A tier 5 medium would have a, a better traverse speed, I feel like. But from the looks of it, it's a pretty well-rounded tank. Now, I remember what I said about the uh front of it being 80. Well, the hull is also 80 millimeters. However, it is slanted. It is angled to s just like the Hetzer. And uh, that is actually pretty, that's a pretty damn good angle. Uh, the Hetzer before the nerf couldn't pen it. Couldn't. I, I couldn't use any of my tier 3s to pen it. Or. F some of my tier 4s could pen through it, yes. 
but my tier threes, which was majority that I played when I encountered the Hetzer, I could not pen the front of that thing until it just barely turned its, you know, its front. And I don't know if they fixed that yet. They probably have. I'm just being retarded. But, um, yeah, it's front 80 millimeters. All right, so let's compare it to the its first rival, the KV-1. Actually, no, it shouldn't be compared to the KV-1 because this is a medium tank. So T-34, let's look at the T-34. Now, I don't have editing software to correctly do this, so I am terribly sorry. But first, let's compare its main armor it has much better much much better armor for the hull and the turret uh i don't know i did not get a look at the rear let me it's rear mm. it has basic it has superior turret and hull armor however its sides and rear are nowhere close to what we want it to be all right, so T-34. It's damage per minute, it's 1240. What was the Krups again? The Krups 